All right, now we're doing AQ reverse strings. This is by Jay Hoffner, and 90% of the people like it. We're going to complete the solution so that it reverses the string passed into it. All right, so world will be this, and word will be this. All right, so we could do it this way. We could say result equals empty string let result, and then uh, for let i equals zero. Well, i is greater than greater than negative one. I'm going to say i minus minus because uh, it has to be. I know, and we can't equal zero either. It's got to equal str dot length minus one. All right, and then we can do this and say uh, str. No, no, no. Result plus equals str at i, and then say return result. And it should do what we want, right? Yeah, it looks good. Attempt it. Yeah, it still looks good. But look at all that typing. You know, what if we had to do this like more than once? You know, like somewhere else. Why not we just why don't we just do something like this? Why don't we just go const solution equals so we can do it in concise syntax. Concise syntax. We could say uh, console.log to test it out easily while we go, so we're not wasting keystrokes, uh, having to go back and check. And then say something like, um, what do we got going on? str, test it out, world looks good. And then we do something like this. We say, we put brackets around this thing. And we go dot, 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 using this spread syntax which allows an interval such as an array or string to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments or elements are expected. All right? So we do that and look at this. Now it's an array where every letter is in its own element. Now we say dot reverse. And I bet you can guess what that does. It reverses an array in place and returns the reference to the same array. The first array Element now becoming the last, and the last, of course, just reversing it. All right, so let's see if that worked. It does, look, now how do we get it back together? Something called join. The join method creates and returns a new string by concatenating all of the elements in an array, separated by commas or a specified separator string. So we just say dot join by nothing, by the spaces in between the characters, test it out. Look at that. That looks like what we're looking for. Let's get rid of this console.log. Test it out. Awesome. Attempt it. Looks good. There we go. Submit it. Oof. There must be a lot of people on it this time. All right. Very much like this one. You see, that's what they did here. And they did here down here what we did the first time, you know, so they're both, both viable. Uh, yeah, instead of uh, doing the spread syntax like we did here, they did the split method. And that's just, I don't know, I think this way is cooler. Anyway, let's go to mine. No solutions yet, whatever, very like it, and we'll see you next time.